Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, Dave and Harry here. And in this video, which is my YouTube channel update for the month of August in this year of 2020, um, I'll be just rabbiting on about a few things and stuff and testing out my new hairstyle as well, just to see if, like, you know, people approve of it because I plan on, like, doing a bit of a makeover and stuff. Of, that, that, that's bollocks. <laughs> now what it is, this stupid thing that I've done here with me, Ed, it's for another video. Uh, what it was yesterday, it's been so hot outside. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to shave my head again. So what it is, I go in, I always start in the middle and go with the clippers right down the centre line. And uh, as I'm doing it, I looked in the mirror and I thought, you look like a big mad idiot. And then I thought, actually, do you know what? I, I, I should take this opportunity to do something with, with my stupid head. Uh, so basically, I've come up with an idea for one of my other videos where I'm going to do do this as, as a short piece. I won't, I won't say anything about it now because hopefully uh, the effect of it will not be missed when I do it. <laughs> Plus also, I don't mind doing stuff like this in these videos, which are my update videos, because to be honest, no one gives a toss about my channel. And like the few people that do kind of like watch me stuff, they know what I'm like. Anyway, they know I'm a big dickhead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just kind of try and plan my way through some of the stuff, you know, to do with this month and uh, some explanations about last month. Um, and I'll try not to do my usual lying as well. <clears throat> Don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but in these update videos, I tend to lie a lot. I basically say, I'm going to be doing this this month. And then as the month draws on, even I'm sitting there going, where's that content you said you were going to do? You know, but I'll get I'll get onto a bit of that as I go through this. Um, but as as my usual last dying words are, usually uh, this, I'll try and keep this as short as I can, which once again is a big pile of crap. Anyways, so last month um, I did... Um, I think I missed out the last three weeks of the month. Very quick explanation here. Uh, if anyone's familiar with some of the stuff on my channel, they may have seen some stuff where it was going on about Universal Music. I've been claiming copyrights of mine, basically bullshitting and lying, and YouTube have supported them and stuff like that. Well, unfortunately for me, in the real world, outside of YouTube, um, some sort of just bit, that's not very professional, David. Um, what it is, out, outside in the real world, I've um, I've recently faced a whole bunch of uh, legal issues to do with uh, like old music of mine and stuff. Anyways, it's uh, it's took a few weeks to kind of bend my head around what's been going on, and I've I've had to kind of like employ legal services and stuff. So basically, my head's been a bit battered doing this sort of stuff. I mean, it's not like oh god, my life's all falling apart. It's not like that. But it's one of these things, there's certain things that you get involved with. And as soon as it starts having to be dealt with legally, it's not exactly something that can be done in five minutes. And you have to try and concentrate and keep these things kind of in focus and stuff. So basically, the reason for that gap was no reason other than my head was just jammed into a different space and I needed to kind of get on with it. Unfortunately, this thing that I'm going through is going to take some time to resolve. I may even do a video about it actually at some point because I think it might be helpful for other like musicians and writers because there's some fairly legal or fairly like tricky legal stuff that's going on, which is like a lot of writers and their uh, musicians would, would be subject to similar stuff as well, depending upon how contracts were uh, originally, you know, weirded and, you know, basically interpretation of contracts as well and stuff like that. So like I say, I'll do a bit of that at some point when, um, you know, it's all become a bit clearer and whatnot, and I can make a bit more of a rational explanation of such things. Now, also, as so well, you may hear some noises. What it is, the flats where I live, there's work going on outside and stuff like that, and blah, blah. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what happened last month, and the reason for the gap, uh, the hiatus in my videos. And let's see, so this month... Right, so what it is, rather than lie and say this is I'm gonna be doing all this stuff through the month, the one thing that's that won't be a lie that I can definitely commit to is I've obviously just bought this iPad Pro. Now what it was, uh, I needed to get a new iPad anyway, or a new tablet. So I thought, well, okay, I, I either need the iPad Pro or the new Samsung that's coming out. So what it is, 
Uh, I've been burning the head off me mate, Trelly. I, I c- couldn't tell you how many phone calls were. It's a phone up Gary and I'm all like, yeah, listen, I've got like tech anxiety. What they would do here? Because the thing is, these things, are they're, they're just so expensive. But, you know, if you kind of need something with a lot more power as far as the tablet is concerned, you're just getting bent over the barrel by Apple. I, I've got to be honest, Samsung are a little bit better than that, though, as far as pricing is concerned and quality that they offer for the price and even some extras and stuff like that. All things I'll get into a little bit further down the line this month and next month. So basically what it was, I thought, I can't make a decision over which one I'd really like. I love iOS because I've had, I, I would say, look at this. And this, this wasn't even staged. This was just, I was tidying my table up. There's my new iPad there, right. There's my older iPad Air 2. And just over here is an iPad Air 1. And then, honestly, I've, I've got an old iPhone over there as well. I mean, funny enough, I bought the iPad Air 1 and the older iPhone as well off my mate Trelly a couple of weeks back. <laughs> so I'm inundated with iOS and stuff like that. Where was I going with this? Um, yeah, so basically... I needed to upgrade because my A2, I've used it for like ages. I love it a bit. It's fantastic. And I just feel that, you know, iOS is the better of all the mobile platforms for OS and stuff like that. Anyways, um, I also got, again, this wasn't staged, believe me. I got me, what's the name of me, Samsung A95G smartphone. And having, having gotten that and then got into Samsung DeX, which is just off the hook i mean I'm, I'm gonna have to do a definitive video about this phone what is this phone is the most underrated galaxy phone ever it is friggin amazing won't talk about it right now but the uh, the function of samsung decks which i'll have mentioned before what happens is samsung decks is basically a reskinning and ui for android so what happens is when you plug a device by samsung that's got dex ability on it you plug it into a base station I th- I've shown these base stations maybe in a couple of other videos. I, I, that one isn't a hand. <laughs> so basically what happens is you slap these into these things and you can get like HDMI, USB, all kinds of stuff, internet, SD card if you want, on various ones. It's really good, but basically it turns certain Samsung devices effectively into a desktop computer. And also it's brilliant for day-to-day stuff. Right, literally with this phone, if I didn't have another option for a computer, but I had a monitor, I could definitely use this phone to kind of double and triple up on a number of things. It could be my phone in my pocket. Then when I get home, I pop it into like this DeX unit. And then I have a very, very respectable, uh, like basic desktop PC. It's amazing. So what it is, I've, I've been really torn about the next tablet that I get, because like I just said, these things are mad expensive. So in the end, after burning Trelly's head out with loads of calls, <laughs> what I decided to do, I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy the Pro, which I have just done. And then I'm also going to get the S7 as well, the Galaxy thing, the Tab. Um, the idea is, is for me to use them both for a couple of months and work out which one is most ideally suited to me and then just flog the one that isn't uh, I'll take a hit on it obviously as far as like the loss of money is concerned but as far as you know well in my head as far as I'm concerned in doing that I will definitely have stressed the pair of them out to a degree where if I'd have only bought the one or the other I wouldn't have to keep worrying as to whether or not I'd bought the right thing now obviously in with that what that really means is I can do a ton of videos about them. So for anybody who watches me stuff and the more into like the microphone audio and then like camera video thing, uh, for the next month or so, there will definitely be less of that stuff on, on my channel because I've got to try and squeeze this other stuff in. So this stuff to do with the tablets and plus I also recently got that Amazon uh, HD 10 as well. Now, the reason why I've got to do a whole bunch of things about these tablets and stuff is, one, I've got to try and get back as much money as I can uh, from buying them as well, because obviously I've got to sell one on and make a loss. So any kind of ad revenue or Amazon link stuff hopefully will help me to suffer the, the loss on that. And then obviously the other thing is as well, because I have it, I would use it anyway and do some stuff about it. And plus, 
I'll make no bones about this because both of these devices are going to be like quite desirable for a period of time. I do need to try and pull in, you know, more subscribers and stuff and get my channel noticed a bit more. And if I've got to be dead honest without sound of feeling sorry for myself and stuff, like, and I've, I've mentioned this before, I love doing the microphone and video thing because professionally that's what I've done for like over 30 years well I started audio over 30 years ago and video mega seriously about 20 or video film so I positively love doing that stuff and it is getting quite depressing looking at me numbers I mean I, again I'll have mentioned this before I have like um, I've got two videos on my channel right which between them have like pulled in over 2 million views on my channel you know, and it's like I've got a, I've got a, you know, I wouldn't say tiny channel now, but it's, it's definitely a small channel. But for a small channel, you don't have them numbers on stuff. Anyway, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, this is ridiculous. I've done nearly 500 videos. I haven't even got up to four million, well, I'm just under four million views. Now, when you think about it, 500 videos, who does 500 videos and never has a massive channel? You know, me, it's ridiculous. So I'm looking at this thing going, hold on, I'm on nearly 500 videos and I haven't even got 8,000 subscribers with that. And I've only got four, uh, 4 million views of which like half of those views are from two videos, which have got nothing to do with microphone or, 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 you know, audio, video, camera stuff, which is the stuff that I really love doing. So basically, yeah, what I've got to do is try shifting the goalposts a bit on my channel. Again, I mentioned this in the past in another one of these updates, and I will do a video specifically about that to explain the, the whys and what fors. Now, the thing with that, I do appreciate that, like, as a viewer, you know, viewers have got, like, their their idea of what a channel is and rightfully so as well you know you pick and choose what you want to watch now the thing is you know you hear these things where people go oh yeah and it's always best to have like a dedicated channel to a particular thing and all this stuff well that's all well and good when your channel has already succeeded in doing that and the next time i hear the next time i hear one of these bullshit marketing youtubers going on about like you know pick your niche and here's what you do seriously i'm gonna smash the nearest screen up that they're on if i ever hear that again because the whole thing is an absolute load of bollocks these people go on right as if like it's a piece of piss or something yeah pick your thing and whatever stick at it and after like after a little while your channel will start getting noticed and then you know in, and if you take on more of my tips and tricks it'll positively grow it's all crap the whole thing's crap if anybody thinks that some of these big YouTubers got there because, like, it was strictly down to their content. It isn't. Do you know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of things that go on with these things. People paying for subs, and people. And now, I'm, when I say this, I'm I'm not accusing some of the big YouTubers of doing this, but a lot of them definitely did it to start off with. Pay for pay for your subscriptions, as it were, um, you know, through advertising, getting people to come to the videos and the channel and all the rest of it, and a serious amount of friggin' like YouTube subscription begging and stuff like that. So the whole path on YouTube just isn't that easy, you know. I mean, like I say, nearly five hundred videos <laughs> have done, and no one loves me. <laughs> it's depressing. So basically, I was going to go down a dark road there. I better shut me trap. Yeah. So basically, anyway, what I'm going to do with these tablet things and stuff it's just have a crack at it so it goes on and then when it comes to sell one the loss on it hopefully i can you know well hopefully i'm looking to more than make up for that um through doing the stuff i mean as a for instance i mean i try to be as as open as i can about these things and another lie that i has because i still haven't done them yet is these videos where i tell people like how a small youtube channel can earn extra money through um like amazon links and obviously well your youtube adsense stuff as well but as a for instance those um amazon links last month i actually made nearly 70 dollars just because two people and whoever those two people were thank you so much but two people followed the links uh, in the description so i don't know what the videos were that they watched but they went on two people went and bought the sony z v1 and i earned to think th like 33 or 34 dollars per, per one because someone bought them basically you earn around three percent 
of whatever somebody buys the thing for. And obviously, that's not 3% that the person who buys it gets added to them. It's just 3% out of whatever the price of the product is that they purchase. But yeah, this is the reason why I've said in the past, all YouTubers should try and do this if they use products and basically say, you know, it, it literally takes two seconds, you know. Yeah, so it's like, so anyways, yeah, about this iPad, uh, don't forget there's going to be some links in the descriptions below to take you to where you can buy one. I mean, literally, that's not killing anyone to say that, and it doesn't take too much flow out of your video, especially if you back-end these things right at the end. Quite often, people never see it because a lot of people never get to the end of, well, they don't get to the end of my videos. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that's the whole thing there about the pad stuff and all the rest of it. I've definitely got to do stuff with them just to kind of make up the numbers and all the rest of it. But I am never going to shy away from, like, me core love for the channel, which is audio, video, so that's microphone, camera things. And if I've got to be honest, I'd, I'd looked at some stuff recently to buy, which I could have done a whole bunch of stuff like that with to do with camera video type stuff, but... Other than the ZV-1, which, and don't get me wrong, don't, I think anyone who knows what I'm like will have understood, I love the ZV-1. In fact, Ian, Ian Craig's just got one, and he's the same. He's fallen in love with it, and rightfully so. The ZV-1 is an amazing camera, amazing picture quality, tiny camera. It's just, it is not a vlogging camera. And that whole sack of lies that Sony came out with just absolutely disgusted me. Seriously, I, w I was beside myself. I've used Sony cameras now for personally 20... In fact, my very first camera was a Sony. What it was, I used to be in a band years ago, which is hence all me moaning about copyrights and all that nonsense. I used to be in a band years ago, and we got signed in 1991. And when we got our first record deal, we were out on the road a lot, so I went out and bought my very first uh, proper camera then, so I could like film our adventures on the road with the band and that. And um, so that's 1991, that's 29 years ago. That was a Sony Hi8. Right, a little three chip Hi8 camera, and it was fantastic. So I've I've had like tons of Sony stuff. I've had like let's see, I mean, the, anyone who's into this stuff will know the PD150 and the PD170. They were DV cams. I went through to the Z1, which was their first. Actually, the Z1 actually had a an extra thing you could plug on, which was the first Sony camera. Domestic, in fact, might have been might be might have been the first Sony camera. Full stop. Proper, proper camera that had the ability to put a card into it as well. It was a DV-based camera, but it had a, an add-on, which you could then plug cards into and record to the cards as well. So I went through all that stuff and then uh, got into a whole bunch of Sony stuff up to the EX3. The EX3 was a fairly sizable camera, amazing three-chip um, re removable lens, um, like HD, was it only HD, yeah. And then finally, me AX100, which I've now been on for almost five years. So when I got the ZV-1, you got to remember I'm a Sony fanboy. I was so disappointed with how Sony went about it. The way Sony come about it, and I know this is going to sound a, a little bit crappy to say, but they come across as if they were one of these real shyster, like mass-producing Chinese companies that just produce bunches of crap make it out to be the best thing since sliced bread and then throw it into the market, do you know what I mean? That is how Sony come across to me with the ZV-1. To me, Sony have always been like the pinnacle of camera manufacturers. Don't get me wrong, you know, even the likes of JVC have been great, you know, at various times. Then you've got your typical ones like Canon, you know, and then you've got, say, Panasonic. I mean, I'm talking video here, not, not stills. And then there's been a whole bunch of things in there as well. I'm probably missing something out. But, you know, in in and around that world, Sony for, for cameras, video cameras, have been undoubtedly the leaders. And I dare say Sony have probably been the inspiration behind many innovations to do with video camera technology. And to me... Honestly, I, I I wanted to throw up when when um, I realised how badly you know uh, Sony had like basically clickbaited the um, the ZV1. So don't so like I say, don't get me wrong, fantastic camera. If you got the time to set it up manually, which is difficult because it is n it doesn't lend itself to be used manually. But if you got the time to do it and you get the right exposure and stuff. It is off the hook. It is unbelievable. But for the vloggy thing, and there was a couple of other niggles that I personally found with it, 
it just didn't suit me so i had to send it back and stuff like that i don't still can't remember where i was going with that one <laughs> anyway yeah so basically this is kind of bringing me around to where i'm up to at the moment and explaining what's going to be going on like this month and stuff that i definitely will follow through on because i've got to do it to bring stuff back to the channel and stuff or back stuff back to me pocket and all the rest of it you know and um and i'll and just reassure anybody as well who does use the amazon links honestly i mean i spend way more than what i get back off that on the stuff the kit and all my equipment in fact let us know if anybody watches this let me know if they're interested in wanting to know what I use. Um, I mean, I do mention some of the stuff that I use, but, you know, like me hardcore editing stuff and things like that. Or, like, you know, if people want me to maybe do some videos on... A, not a, See, you, it's very difficult to say advice and tips because advice makes you sound like, oh, yeah, well, I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I do, but I don't like coming across like one of those real stuffy YouTubers who obviously don't know what they're doing because they've never done it professionally and they've don't they've never even had enough practical experience to do it. but you get a lot of them especially with the cameras and the sound stuff who just talk absolute shit and like you know the catching people who don't know any difference and this is the horrible thing because people come to youtube to learn as well and if they're being taught stuff by dickheads who don't know what they're doing and i will stand by that do you know what i mean and if there's any dickheads out there who do youtube channels who think i'm being funny contest me in the comments seriously i'll, I'll take anyone to task over this where was it going <laughs> okay so quick cut here i'm uh, i'm just gonna cut myself right off from where I was going with all that stuff. It's a dark alley, which I actually like going down at times, but I don't think it's for everyone. Anyways, yeah, so just to summarise it now. Um, yeah, so the, there was three three weeks last month, nothing happened, all because of all this music nonsense that I've been having to deal with. You know, it's not, it's not being like anything weird or nothing like that. Just literally, I needed to jam my head into one thing and stick at it just to kind of like, you know, understand what was going on and things like that. Um, this whole thing using the pads and uh, and I'm about to get into stuff uh, and with that as well I'm going to be doing hopefully some very simple stuff with it things like how do I connect an iPad to a TV or a monitor in fact the day that this goes up I will put um, the iPad one of the iPad ones up really short in fact if anyone's got this far into this video, um, check out the video that I've put up, if you don't mind, the iPad one, because I'm trying to work out how short I can make them without skimping on detail. Uh, so I'm going to do some stuff which would be very obvious to a lot of people. I dare say, and I'm not blowing smoke up anyone's asses here, but I dare say people who, who've got this far in this video are here because they want to hear all the, all the relentless like info, as it were, do you know what I mean? So... That, that means people like that usually know what they're doing with some of these dead basic things. However, a lot of people don't. So when I put the iPad one up, if, if anyone who's got this far could let me know if the iPad to the monitor thing works as a short video and if it's okay, let us know that, please, because I'll try and do some more like really short stuff with a... Not necessarily skim, but I just don't go into great detail about certain technical stuff. Also with that, there's going to be various other things, how to do this, how to do that, microphones into an iPad. Then I'll do the exact same things again with the S7 as well. Because don't forget, just because you know how to do it with an iPad, doesn't mean to say that someone with an S7 would have watched the iPad video. So I will repeat them again uh, with the S7 and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's probably about it. Now, what did you think of my haircut? <laughs> right, what I've got to do is get on do this thing now so I can definitely go and shave my head off. <laughs> I nearly walked out. Do you know what? I got up earlier on, right? And I was I got my first coffee and I was about to go over to Tesco's. Do you know what? It was I was so lucky that I walked past the mirror. I mean, I wasn't about to walk straight out the door, but I was thinking about going there. Then I went in to brush my teeth and I, and I forgot that this was, because I did this last night, I forgot I was like this, I nearly, I would have went out. If I had not gone in to brush my teeth, 10 minutes later I'd be out the door walking to Tesco's, having everybody looking at me like I was a fool. Anyways, I think that will probably sum it up for this one anyway. So yes, as ever, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.